Hey guys, today's video is I'm tired of women complaining and here's why. Um, all I hear online, because um, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, all I hear online constantly is women complaining. Oh, I'm single. I can't get a guy. Guys won't pay attention to me. No guys will date me, etc., etc. Um, I highly doubt this and I don't believe any of it. Um, the reason being is because women's standards today are so fucking high. A lot of this has to do with the fact that they're struggling themselves financially. You know, they're struggling to pay their rent. They're struggling to pay their car payment. They're struggling to pay other bills. Um, perfect example, last girl I dated was constantly asking me to buy bottles of wine. Why is that? Because she herself was struggling financially. What is that going to do to her? Now she's going to start seeking out those Chad type of men. And because she's low on money herself, she's going to look for partners with extra money to provide for her. Um, I kind of ran into trouble with her because she was constantly asking me for money. Hey, can I get 50 bucks, 80 bucks, 100 bucks? And I wasn't able to do it because I'm on a very tight budget. Not getting rich out here by any means, guys. Um, I work my job about 20 hours a week, so I'm not getting rich out here. I make enough money to pay my house and car payment is about it. Um, so I'm just basically surviving. That's all. So I'm out of, I'm out of the league for the, I'm, you can't consider me a Chad, even though I'm not the ugliest guy in the world. I'm not the best looking guy in the world, but I'm a nice person. I don't physically abuse women. I don't physically abuse children. I don't beat people up at bars for no reason, things like that. Um, so I'm not out hurting people, but I'm but I'm a person that doesn't have a lot of money. And for that fact, I have almost zero chance in dating because today's modern woman is seeking the almighty dollar. Today's my, uh, today's modern woman is seeking a man with a good job, a man with some cash in the bank. And I've been single for a long time. Because of that, I've only had one income, which means I've never been able to financially get ahead because all the jobs I have basically only paid me enough to pay my mortgage, pay my house payment, but they never wanted to pay me anything extra to have in the savings. Like, for example, this entire summer, I spring and summer, I haven't mowed my lawn at all because I haven't been able to afford a lawnmower. They're like $2,500. I don't have an extra $2,500. Um, so I haven't been able to cut my lawn almost all year. Um, I just traded someone today, a, a weed whacker that I had. I had an extra weed whacker laying around. And I traded that person a weed whacker to get my lawn mowed. So I'm having to rob Peter to pay Paul, having to do all kinds of crazy shit. And because of that, you know, I'm not that attractive to your average everyday woman out here because they're looking for a man with some cash in the bank. Um, none of the jobs in my local area pay anything. Like every job I've had has paid me under $20 an hour, which means I only had enough money to pay my bills, nothing extra. Um, literally, these jobs that I live near, they'll literally just pay you enough to pay your basic bills and they don't want to pay you anything extra. They want to keep you a slave, want to keep you coming in, want to keep you desperate. So they don't want to pay you anything. But today's modern women guys can be kind of their own worst enemy because, you know, they're out here complaining. Why won't men talk to me? Why won't guys commit to me? Most of the time, women are going for the guy that's the douchebag in the room. You know, you take five guys in a room. One's, one's a doctor. One's a lawyer, one, one, let's say he runs a restaurant, another guy, you know, works as a circus uh, coordinator, you know, for one, she's not, she's going to ignore all the men that don't have any money and she's going to just focus on the one with money. I mean, let's say the circus guy don't have much money because he's a circus coordinator only, only, they only come to the circus once a year. So he's not a wealthy person. She's going to pass right over that guy and go for the guy that's got money. Even though the guy that has money might be a complete asshole, he might have no morals in their integrity. Like a lot of CEOs of companies are actually sociopaths. They're actually scumbags, but they run these companies. Those are your modern CEOs of companies like Walmart, Applebee's, Target. These are all, these are all sociopathic CEOs that could give a fuck less about the staff. 
Um, so that's why these women are quickly becoming single mothers because oftentimes they'll ignore a guy like me that's super loving, super sweet because I don't have any extra money. I don't have, I'm not wealthy. And then they'll go date a fucking piece of shit CEO that's got cash or a CEO that's got, you know, he's got money, but he has no morals or integrity. He's actually a sociopath on the inside. And so what happens is they have one fallen out with these antisocial men and then the antisocial men end up having enough of their bullshit and kick them to the curb. Now they're a single mom. But today, single moms are terrified of single guys like me. Literally, they won't even make eye contact with you when you're out in the community. I don't know how many fucking times I've walked by people my age or a little bit younger out in the community and they literally will not even look at me, will not talk to me. This is the brainwashing that our governments have put onto these young women. I personally believe that they were putting male hormones in women's food. This this is globally. I think they were putting male hormones in women's food to make them more masculine. I mean, we've never had a society of more masculine women than we have today. I mean, look around. They're rageful. They're angry. Yeah, no, they, half of them, half of them literally fucking hate men. They're having sex with guys, but they literally hate men. Like one of my ex-girlfriends, she'd have a guy over for sex and she wanted him to leave the next morning at like five or six in the morning. Cause the truth was she fucking hated men. Where did that all come from? She hated her father when she was growing up as a kid, her father probably abandoned the family, probably treated her mother like shit. So she started to not trust men. And then as an adult, she just wanted to use men sexually. She never wanted to get close to any of the men, including me. She would just constantly push all of us away. She'd have one night stands with us and then push us away. She was the girl. You could take 10 guys in the room. She's going to date the, with, she's gonna date the sociopathic scumbag in the room. The guy that just got out of jail or the guy that has a drug addiction. The guy that's a full-blown alcoholic. And she's going to leave all the nice guys alone because maybe those nice guys are boring. Like, for example, years back with the girl that I love, literally trying to cook this girl's supper with my brother. I wasn't using drugs at the time. She literally leaves my house to go smoke crack with a complete fucking loser next town over. Um, why does she do that? Probably because she felt like me and my brother were boring because we weren't you know, doing drugs. We weren't getting wasted. We weren't breaking laws and fucking running drugs and selling drugs and smoking crack. So somehow that made us boring. Um, these are the same women that will get on TikTok today, Snapchat today and complain that they're single. Why? Where's all the good guys at? Where'd they all go? Uh, you, you totally broke up with them, ghosted them, silent treatment. I don't know how many times I've had women flake out on me break up with me for literally no reason and the relationship for no reason. Um, some of these women are narcissists, so they can't make up their mind. You know, like one of my ex-girlfriends was super hot. She had probably 20, 20 to 30 men, literally 20 to 30 men at all times in her DMs. Like if you were to check her DMs, it's going to be 30, 40 men trying to give her attention trying to get dates, trying to have sex with her, trying to become sexual with her, trying to hook up for sex. And this is why I could not rein this particular female in because she had so much narcissistic supply and she had 30 to 40 ex-boyfriends in her harem garage. That's what narcissist women have is a harem garage. And they keep their boyfriends in that harem garage for future manipulation, future use. They hoover these boyfriends. You know, like I always use the example, one of the girls I love ghosted me for two years and then hit me up for sex two years later. You want to Netflix and chill? I know I haven't seen you for two years, but you want to have sex? Complete fucked up shit, dude, that I've dealt with in the dating world. But I have absolutely zero sympathy for you women out here that are complaining about men won't talk to me, men won't date me, men won't, you know, be, be my boyfriend. You guys spent the last 10 years ghosting wonderful men like myself. I'm a very kind, very sweet person to the right person. Yes, I can be a dick. 
Yes, I can be an asshole, but usually I'm pushed to that by certain people. Usually people have turned me into that type of person. But to a to a stranger, I'm not going to come off as a dick. I'm going to treat everyone fairly, you know, and give everybody a chance. But, you know, as far as you women thinking that people like me are going to give you sympathy on Snapchat, sympathy on Instagram, because no guys will date you or no guys will be your boyfriend or men don't want to talk to me anymore. You got to realize, women, that you did this to yourself. I mean, literally, I can say the last 10 years, I have never seen more hateful women, more hateful girls, girls I dated, literally hate men. We'll have a guy in for sex. One of my ex-girlfriends love to have sex. 5 a.m. hit, 6 a.m. hit. They want the guy to leave. Why is that? Because clinically, they actually hate men. They actually despise men. And that's why that's where you're going to get women using you. Like I used to get constantly used by women. You know, they'd come into my house for free housing and then ghost me like three years later. That's the uh, that's the using behavior you're going to get for some of these women. That's why you need to know the red flags like entitlement, things like that. Uh, there is no winning with a narcissistic woman. Like I said, they have so many options. They don't need to be your boyfriend. They don't need to settle down with you. Like the like the pretty girl I loved. She she wasn't interested in settling down with just me because she wasn't willing to give up all her other narc supply. I mean, she had 10 or 15 boyfriends that she was having sex with, 10 or 15 boyfriends that she was going couch to couch, couch surfing, Um, all these places to live that she could live for free, all these boyfriends she could meet up for sex on a whim's notice, which guys, we don't have that opportunity. Like I can't just call up a a, a girl right now and say, hey, you want to come over and have sex? But a pretty woman has has that option. Like if she was at my house right now, she could literally call 25, probably 25 to 30 guys. This is no joke. She could, if she was here tonight, she could call 20 guys to come fuck her. That's how attractive she is. That's why I couldn't get her to be one-on-one with me because she had so much narcissistic supply that she didn't want to lose her other 10 or 20 boyfriends. That's why she didn't want to dedicate herself to me. She was getting so much attention online so much attention by men younger than me. Like one of the last times we hung out, she was talking to like a 25-year-old guy. I'm 41. I can't compete with a 25-year-old. I mean, body-wise, we're completely different. He's a he's a spring chicken. I'm 41. As far as sexual experience, I'm probably better than a 21-year-old in bed because I know how to fuck like a porn star. But women don't give a fuck about that these days. They literally... When they're shopping around for a man, they're thinking, how much does this motherfucker make? But but you know what's going to backfire on them? Because the wealthy Chad individuals, your wealthy Tyrone individuals, more, more or less these men, they just want to have sex. So they're going to dip into your pussy for a couple weeks and then they break up with you. And that's where you guys are your own worst enemy because you treat men like me like shit that would actually dedicate myself to you. Like I would be a wonderful husband to the right woman. I would be fully dedicated to her. I wouldn't cheat on her, wouldn't beat her, wouldn't treat her rot. And I would just be 100% dedicated to her and loving to her. But most women don't want to give me that chance because I'm not a rich person. You know, like right now, I probably have like $5 in my checking account. And that's no joke. You know, I recently paid my mortgage. So I have like $5 in my account. Um. I also sell on Amazon. I have 500 shirts on Amazon, but I can't really sell these real good because everyone's fucking broke. I mean, literally my shirts right now, guys, are $15.99 and I still have trouble selling them. I mean, my most recent sales were in Europe. I sold five shirts in Europe, but like none in America the last couple months because literally everybody's fucking broke. Plus, Amazon suppresses people like me because they want to sell their own company shirt above mine. The corruption that goes on in this country is fucking unreal. But, you know, every day I'm watching these funny videos of women. Why won't these guys talk to me? Why won't these guys, you know, be my boyfriend? They just want sex and they leave. The guys that just want sex and leave, those are the guys that had their heart fucking smashed. 
I mean, they'll date, you know, they date pretty girls like I did. I mean, the girl that I dated almost led me to suicide, almost killed myself over this person because of how heartless she was. Same girl broke up with me on Christmas Eve, guys. The same girl left my apartment, left me devastated on Christmas Eve. She's going to be one of those women when she's older, when she's 56 years, 50, 60 years old. She's going to be the woman with the bottle of wine and the three cats and no husband and no boyfriend. Because as soon as she loses her pretty looks, as soon as she loses that perfect body that she's had the last 10 years, now she's not having guys hit her up. Now she's not having free places to stay. You know, and, and in the long run, they don't even think about the long run. Like the girl I love, the pretty girl, she wasn't even thinking about the long run. She was just thinking about today, today, today. She's not thinking about down the road. Like while we were to while while me and her were together, I can honestly say that I probably had, you know, binging of alcohol problems, binging of drug addictions. This was like four to five, ten years ago. You know, where, you know, sometimes if I drank, I'd be inappropriate, or if I did drugs, I'd be inappropriate. You know, if I was with her or something, maybe I'd say something inappropriate. Like one time I went disc golfing with her and I made a joke about eating her pussy when it because it was her birthday. And I made a joke about eating her pussy and she was upset with me about for saying that. She told me she didn't want to talk about it. So you have to walk on eggshells with these fucking women. You have to, you can't even be funny around them. You can't make a sexual joke because they take it personally. I mean, the same girl I fucking give an oral sex to for three hours and she's going to get offended over a fucking oral sex joke. After I've already eaten her pussy for fucking three hours She's going to make a big deal about it. That's what women do that have mental illnesses, BPD, narcissism. They pick fights. Like, why would that woman give me a hard time about, about an oral sex joke while we're disc golfing when I've literally given her oral sex for three hours? Does that make any sense? No, it's called picking a fight. It's called pushing people away. It's called devaluement. That's what narcissist women do. That's what BPD girls do. They literally pick fights. I mean, everything can be going fucking great and they'll pick a fight. It's fucking unreal, guys. So if you're watching this video, especially if you're a young person, 18 to 25 years old, keep in mind, if your girlfriend has broken up with you, it doesn't even mean that you've necessarily done anything wrong. You may have done nothing wrong and they'll still break up with you because girls that have BPD, they go through love-hate cycles where one minute they love the shit out of you. Then the ne then next week it's Jekyll and Hyde. Next week they hate you. Next week they're breaking up with you. And you've literally done nothing wrong. So if you're 18 and 25, this is stuff I didn't know about when I was your age, guys. That's why I'm talking about it right now. Because I was fucking devastated with a certain breakup with a BPD girl. I almost killed myself over. Almost literally killed myself at work. I'm um, very close to doing it. I um, had a plan to do it and everything. And I had a friend talk me out of suicide. That's why I don't ever underestimate the power of being a good friend. You can be a good friend. You can talk people out of suicide. But, um, you know, as far as me, as far as I'm concerned, I won't have any sympathy, you know, for these women that are complaining because they were the ones the last 10 or 15 years, you know, this is women over 40 that are complaining they're single. They were the women the last 10 years that were ghosting guys like me that wanted to love them, breaking up with guys like me that wanted to love them, giving silent treatments to guys like me that wanted to love them, leaving guys like me on red, leaving me on red. I'd send a girl a message. She wouldn't even respond. Like one of, one of the last girls I dated, she was one of my high school friends. I've recently reached out to her to say hello to her. Won't even message me. Why is that? Because she's probably mad about a certain type, certain sort of things. Like she had asked me to put, she just recently got a new apartment. She wanted me to put the internet in my name, even though I don't live there. And I said, no, she hasn't talked to me since she's dating other men, even though she claims to be single. She's got like fucking five boyfriends she's having sex with. She ain't single. She's a fucking narcissist that has 10 or 20 boyfriends. That's why she won't commit to a guy like me because she don't want to miss out on all the Chads and Tyrones and all the dicks she's sucking, all the money she's getting, all the free wine she's getting, all the free drugs, 
Like I guarantee these fucking losers that she's having sex with are giving her cocaine while they fuck her or letting her hit the crack pipe while they fuck her. These women are fucking stupid out here on the streets. That's why I have absolutely no fucking sympathy for the woman that's hit the wall and said, oh, wah, 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 guys won't be with me. Guys won't be my boyfriend. Guys won't be my husband. You bitches are the same motherfuckers that were giving guys like me silent treatment, ghosting me, telling me you just wanted to be friends. Guys like me that would have fully committed to you. Guys like me that would have been your husband. Guys like me that would have eaten your fucking pussy every night. Guys like me that would have fucked the shit out of you every night. Guys like me that would have been 100% loyal. Guys like me that would have made your breakfast in bed and cooked your supper at night. But you always thought the grass was greener on the other side. You always thought the next guy was going to be better. You always thought the next dick was going to be better. You women are going to end up alone as old people because you got greedy as a young person. When you were 30 30 years old, you were ghosting good men like me. You were giving silent treatment to men like me. Am I a loser by any means? No, I'm not a loser. I don't drink. I don't use illegal drugs. I have my own Amazon company. I have 500 shirts on Amazon under my own company. I have a good job. I have a house. I have a car. I have no criminal record. I haven't been arrested for like seven or eight years, guys. And the last time I got arrested was because I broke up a home invasion and saved two people's lives. Um. So th- this world is just ass backwards right now. Um, but but these women, I'm sorry, I'm not going to have any sympathy for you women out here because you did this to yourself, rejecting good men like me to go out and date Chad, who just wants pussy, go, going out and dating Tyrone, who just wants pussy. And then when Tyrone and Chad breaks up with these women, they come running back to guys like me. Guess what? I'm going to shut the door in your fucking face when you come back. I'm going to tell you to go fuck yourself when you come back because you had your fucking chance and you blew it.